Hello, Aries. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm going to get that channel in. Do a nightmare before Christmas today. See what happens. We had some pretty major, major shifts and um, affirmations last night in my dreams and stuff. So, oof. Aries, you always look at that. There's Taurus, the hair font. Woo! With that ace of wands. Someone's, somebody's got something to say and is very, very powerful. Very powerful, okay? There's the Emperor. The Seven of Candles. Okay, so someone's got something to say to somebody important. Emperor. Oh my God, there's you. I never associate the Emperor with Aries energy because I find it so masculine. And not every Aries is a masculine energy or coming up in their masculine energy. So, like, to associate um, such such masculinity on what I mean I I not I don't think that Aries is a feminine sign per se but it is fire so I think somebody has something to say to you something very powerful to say to you I think you're a very powerful person I did do uh, a reading not too long ago that um was called are you Santa because there are people out there. Oh my God, there's Mrs. Claus, literally. Okay, okay. Eight of Wands, High Priestess, The Sun, Nine of Pen, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Potions. Four of Wands, Four of Needles in Reverse, with the Three of Presents. Wow, okay. Eight of Presents in Reverse. Ooh, look at that. There's the moon. So we got the sun and the moon. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's get this message. Through the ether tunnel of my head. Let's put the cards in all reverse here. Okay, so somebody's got very something very important to say, okay? They've like lit a match, they've lit a candle, and they figured something out. Okay. And um this they they might be a little bit defensive but they at the same time i'm not really getting defensive because we have the eight of wands also in reverse so it's the seven of wands in reverse because i feel like this person now has like a posse with them okay and um it's an idea that they masterminded actually into people so then they didn't have to hurt anymore oh okay so you're coming up in your masculine and feminine energy, okay? So both of you are here, okay, and ready for this message. And what I can get is um, I think you're on a path. I think you're about to get like a, a team, okay? Because somebody has figured out that that's what it is that you need or you figured it out. You know, like, okay, I need to be in a team. I need to be with a team. I need to be with a group of people or a group of individuals that are going to help me. Okay. Thus I help them. Right. And we build this thing together because somebody's realized that like they can't do everything on their own. Right. Or somebody has realized for them, listen, you don't have to do this all by yourself. 
right? Like there are people that can help you. So the sun and the moon are here because it's some of this you can see and some of this you can't see. Okay. And some of this is really going to, I think, open up a lot of emotions in you once you realize that you've got like a partner with you. Okay. Maybe that's what it meant. Maybe somebody's partner is coming in. Did you just hear that? What the fuck was that? It was like something scratching like there was a door there or something. Oh, that sounded really weird. Of course, it has to cut me off mid... I don't think I was mid-sentence, but it's like this is really going to open up your emotions, okay? Like somebody's blocked emotions. Um, like it's like you're just going to let somebody in. Or like this person that's got something to say to you, it's like, it just opens up something. Like, it's like, oh, ding dong. Like, oh, okay. So by, by putting myself together and to stop kind of like def being like in, in a, in like a defensive energy, you got smarter and got this team or, or someone's coming in to bring you this team. All right. Because they know it's just you. And you don't realize the abundance that's coming in. That's what it is. There's a, there's a team or maybe this team is talking to you. I mean, it's going to be different for everybody, right? Like whatever resonates with you. I, I like to kind of say it a few different ways because then it hits more people because it's not a personal reading. It's a general reading. So seven of wands in reverse would be the hangman now in limbo. Yes. Okay. So somebody has to decide to not like... <clears throat> To not want to be alone anymore, right? To realize that there's strength in numbers, right? That every time that this person falls short on themselves, they have to end up healing and they don't want to heal anymore. So the, the announcement is, okay, to, to gather yourself a team. Right. Which I think is, is a lot what we're doing with this channel, right? We're, we're gathering a team together. So then we have a platform where we can share what happens to us, where we can share um, comments and stories, right? It's all about being with a team because when you stand with people, you wouldn't, you wouldn't even begin to comprehend how many people will stand with you. Cause when you're just in a small little town or, or you don't know a lot of people, then you, you do like you, you want to find a meeting or you want to find um, a group of people that you can be with so then you can share your story so then you can get some advice so you can get it off your chest so you can get it out of your mind right a lot of things is like getting things out of your mind right and my parents always try to tell me like go see a therapist go see a therapist and I was like I like barely want to talk to myself about this what makes you think that I'm going to want to go talk to somebody who went to school who I know for a fact because you know on a personal basis is going to end up fucking judging me right but when you find a group of people that you like get along with, it is like AA. I mean, AA stems from a gathering of people that are going through the same thing right? They need to be able to lean on somebody like you need structure and um, support, right? And you don't realize that how much a team can really work in your benefit, but it goes both ways. Like you, you have to treat a team like you're a part of it. And if you're a part of it, then you don't get special treatment or everybody has to get special treatment. Right. I'm kind of like figuring that out with work too. Right. I'm like realizing that like I'm on a team and like when I can't be there, I have to make sure that I let them know I can't be there or when I can be there and I can stand stronger. I do. Right. Like you, if you, if you are with a place, then that's your team. Right. So I feel like there's like this announcement that's coming about a team. And it's like the universe is trying to tell you, like, that's really what I get out of this is like the universe is really trying to tell you that um, you did a really good job putting yourself back together. OK, and being in your emotions and letting your emotions um, shine. OK, and saying what's on your mind. And um, kind of getting out of this really immature energy that um, you have to like strength of numbers, you have to hurt people, right? Because hurt people hurt people. And when you're in pain, then you want to have a people experience that pain as well. 
okay? Because you don't feel like you deserved it. So you're going to make other people go through it because you didn't deserve it. They didn't deserve it. Well, you all don't deserve it together, but you all can go through it together. Kind of like a very, like putting yourself back together and healing yourself. You stop hurting people around you because you start really taking responsibility for things. You take responsibility for your life. You apologize for things, right? You don't lie anymore. You become an adult, right? It doesn't matter how old you are in reality. It's all stems from your maturity, Right. And like, so now all of a sudden somebody's realizing that they they've got a team and or that a team is coming. Right. And that they've got to be open and honest with them. And if they give to that, if they, you know, if this person gives to that team as much as that team gives to them, then it's like, it's basically the best thing that you've ever seen in your life right? It's the best project possibly. And you know this. And I think that somebody also is very aware that something is coming back from the past. Okay. And maybe these people are part of your past, right? Maybe these people are, are your, were, were your family at one point and they never really helped you. So you went alone, right? And then you, you kind of stayed with a very small group. I feel like somebody went from a big group of people to a very small group of people, right? To almost basically alone. And they were fighting off a, a lot of energies, right? Because they were, they were kind of taught that like, um, kind of taught by immature people, immature energies, very feisty, very fighty, very young energies. And, and somebody really had to do a lot to dig into their emotions, to figure out how to fix themselves from this problem that they've got in their life with people. Right. And the best way to deal with people is to get rid of people. So then you deal with yourself and then you put people back in your life again. But until you deal with yourself, do you realize that like if you're drinking or if you pop pills or if you're constantly in drama, then you're, you're never really by yourself. And then when you get by yourself, if you don't really like yourself, then you'll start to alter your ego. So then you fit your desires more than what you do sober. So maybe somebody's like, maybe somebody has, um, been, I think somebody has, has definitely been alone. Okay. Away from the crowd with the crowd with a couple people. And then now it's like they, they're, they're sick of being hurt and pricked by things, having to then suspend themselves in time to get over or figure out why something happened. Right. Somebody's done with that. And, and once they get a crew with them back again, then it's like they don't have so much responsibility by themselves. They don't feel like they're fighting a whole crowd of people all the time. Like now they can kind of stand with people and be like, OK, this isn't about this isn't about fighting with people anymore. I can't keep fighting with you. That has to change. Right. So now I have to now this when this group comes in. Oh my God, look at that ace of, ace of presence right there. When this group comes in, right, it's really, you've got to really take it for what it is, right? Like anybody can see a gift and not really care. Okay. Other people see a gift and it changes their life. This, this is one of those things that sometimes we don't see what we have. Oh my gosh. Look at, I just cut the deck to justice. Okay. With the three of wands. So there's definitely something's definitely, someone's going to definitely be feeling better soon about something. Right. And I think that's, um, this gift of people, right. And, uh, this gift from the past, like of, you know, maybe friends come back from the past or maybe, um, people that come into your life that are new remind you of people from the past. Right. Um, the thing is, is that a lot of times when things come back from the past, we don't realize how much of a gift it truly is because sometimes things are lost forever and then some things are found. Right. And then when you find those things again, do you really want to fight them off? Right. Because you're just used to something that you really didn't understand because you were put into something that wasn't you. Right. And it's really seeming like somebody does not want to suspend in time anymore. Just hanging there, hanging there with all of these what ifs going on around them. 
what if this happens? What if this happens? What if this happens? Like, I mean, so many things can happen. That's the thing is like, like you have to realize that there are a lot of gifts coming for you or a lot of uh, wishes coming for you. Right. And a lot of fulfillment and it's on equal parts, you know, it's give and it's take. And to receive such a blessing is really to, ch to have changed something from the past, which maybe in the past you didn't see things for the way that maybe you do now, right? We don't always see how good we had it until it's gone. So it's kind of one of those things. Like, it's like you knew to put yourself back together and let your emotions shine, right? Then to hide away and act like you're perfect because nothing's perfect. No one's perfect. No, no situation is perfect. It could be, um, a very well balanced in somebody's mind, but it's never going to be perfect because the word perfect doesn't exist, right? It really doesn't. This is justice. It's, it's, it's now it's like, you know, when Jack, he stands up, he's got his, his posse, he has his people and they rely on him. Right. And, and he's taking care of people. And it's like, that's what I feel like is happening with this group, right? Is you're going to stand up for these people while these people stand up for you. And that's a big unit. Like maybe I just saw, maybe you're, um, you're going to decide to be a teacher and then you're going to, or you are a teacher and you're going to decide that you're going to teach a little bit differently, right? Where, where you're, you are on the same side as them. And there is no, um, higher boundary level here. There is, you know, I'm, I'm here to teach you and I'm also one of you, right? I'm no different than you, right? We are the same. And I've had to learn to, to take help where I can get it. And I've had to learn that, that, to stand up for something is so much stronger than to give into something. Right. So anyways, that's all we're going to say for that. I've got a busy, busy day ahead of me. So I'm going to go do that and I will return to the channel for more readings either tonight or tomorrow. Um, so have a really good day and thanks for all the new subscribers and thanks for all the new, um, energy and comments and emails. You guys are great. Like I'm really getting a lot of like really weird affirmations about the things that I say that are like correctly, like corresponding in people's lives. It's like really weird. So, um, yeah, it just means that it's real, you know, like this is really getting real. This channel is getting really real for me. And, uh, it just, for my first channel, it didn't happen like this. This one I've had to work a lot harder for, and I'm glad I've had to work a lot harder for it because, because I've had to work so much harder for this channel and for this wave, I won't just give it up. Like I did every other time, right? Because the other times I tried things happen really easy this time. It ain't easy, right? but I don't need it to be easy. I just need it to be possible. And that's always something that I said to myself. I mean, I kind of tried to change it a little bit because then I think the world kind of took advantage of that for a little bit, but I was like, man, I do not need easy. I need possible, right? Because easy is, is boring. It, it, it doesn't really keep you motivated, right? It doesn't challenge you. I don't constantly need things to challenge me, but I do need to be challenged and I do need to know that I'm alive. Right. And that I've got a head on my shoulders and that I'm a lot smarter than other people and that, you know, strategy, I need to learn strategy and I need to learn so many things, you know, like it just because you're getting older, like it just opens up the door to more learning on how you can be like a better person and a better person. Cause now I'm like better to hang around with and now I'm, I'm better to be around. So it just means that I'm getting better and better with myself, which means I'm getting better and better with other people. So why wouldn't I want to keep getting better and better, right? You never really stop learning. You should never really stop growing. Right. Or then you're just meh. You're in like a moo paw of nothing. Like who wants that? I mean, it's nice to stop and like, you know, smell the roses, but then you gotta get, you gotta keep walking. You can't just sit there fucking sniffing all day. Although some people would say the opposite. Luckily, those people don't watch this channel. So anyways, yeah. Peace out. Namaste. Have a good one. Word to your mothers. <laughs>